All right, next up is lowercase g and q. And one thing I want you to notice just on the printed ones that's going to be really important for the cursive ones is they both are, start out the same way, but the g curves back to the left where the q goes forward to the right. It's gonna be exactly the same with the cursive G and Q. Um, just like the A and the O and the C and the D, there's that forward and back stroke if the G or the Q is at um, in the middle or the end of a word, and you can start right on the belt line if it's at the beginning of the word. So with the G, I start just below the belt, I come up around and meet up, below the belt, down around, meet up, and through the foot. It kind of looks like a nine right now, right? Below the belt, around, down, we're curving in this direction. Around, up, down, curve, cross on the foot line, and finish. One more time. Below the belt, around, touch the foot, meet up, slant through the feet, curve forward, cross at the feet, and finish on the belt. Now again, if your G is in the middle, you're gonna be coming from forward and back. Remember that forward and back stroke. And it'll finish that way, okay? So it's forward and back, touch through, cross on the feet. Okay, You want to make sure that your G doesn't have a great big thing so that it ends up looking kind of like a big eight that's waving. We don't want that. Okay, Forward and back, around touch, cross on the feet. Forward and back, around touch, through the feet, cross at the feet, and finish. And remember, this one is curving in this direction, to the left. Okay. Now our Q is going to start the same way, just below the belt. Below the belt, up, around, and touch. Below the belt, up, around, and touch, and straight down. You see the resemblance there? Looks exactly the same. But it goes below the belt, up, around, down, and we're curving in this direction this time. Around, down, touch on the feet, and up. Okay, below the belt, around, meet up, through the feet, forward, and touch the feet. Okay, and the same thing if the cue's in the middle, although that's very rare, it's the forward, and back, through the feet, touch the feet, and up, okay? So we have forward, back, meet up, through the feet, forward and touch the feet, and up, okay? And same thing like with the G, you don't wanna have it be this big round thing like this, again, so it looks like a big eight. We don't want that. Forward and back, through the feet, forward, touch the feet, and up. Forward and back, through the feet, forward, touch the feet, and up. Okay. The big, big difference is the direction once you come through the feet. This way to the right for the Q, that way to the left for the G. You want to make sure you practice several lines of each one so you can tell the difference. Great job.